Love is living. Love is giving, not taking. Mending, not breaking. Trusting, believing, never deceiving. Patiently bearing and faithfully sharing. A promise once spoken, for all time unbroken. Love's time is forever. She's very clean and tidy, though she may sometimes dilute. Leave your things out at your peril. In a second, they'll have moved. He romances her and dines her, home-cooked dinners and the like. He even knows her favourite food and spoils her day and night. She's thoughtful when he looks at her, a smile upon his face. Will he look that good in 50 years when his dentures aren't in place? But they're both not wholly perfect. Who are we to judge? He can be pig-headed, whereas she won't even budge. All that said and done, they love the time they spent together, and I hope, as I'm sure you do, that this fine day will last forever. He'll be more than just her husband, he'll also be her friend, and she'll be more than just his wife. She'll be his soulmate till the end. I, Andrew Neil Bowker, do take thee, Hayley Mould, to be my lawful wedded wife. I give you this ring as a symbol of my devotion. I promise to love you, cherish you, and be by your side always. Hi, Hayley Mould, do take thee, Andrew Neil Bowker, to be my lawful wedded husband. I give you this ring as a symbol of my devotion. I promise to love you, cherish you, and be by your side always. I am delighted to declare to your guests that you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife, united in marriage. Andrew, you may kiss your bride. So, without further ado, let's see who's looking this way. Um, everything out your hands. No, you're not going to the toilet yet. You wait, wait till break time. All your full attention this way. And let's see who's ready to learn, shall we? <laughs> oh, yes, there's a few of you. Yeah, ja Jack, are you ready? Oh, you sure? Let's check over this side. Thomas, boring. ready to go? Boring already? Boring already. Oh, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> First, I would like to say, on behalf of Hayley myself, how thrilled we are that everybody could be here today. It does really mean the world to us. We would like to acknowledge those that we've loved and lost. And there are people that we would like to have been here today which aren't here. In particular, we talk about Hayley's granddad, Robert, that would have loved to have seen us here today. And my grandparents too. I know that they would have been thrilled by today's festivities and they would have certainly enjoyed being here. We'll continue to carry them in our hearts. So I'd like to propose a toast, please. Absent friends and family. Standing on two 
Hayley, you look proper Boston, our kid. <laughs> I'm sure everybody will agree you look stunning. As soon as I saw you today, I just fell apart. <clears throat> it's happening again. <laughs> oh, look, look at the weather. Oh, that's lovely. I'm extremely proud to call you my wife. And I can finally refer to you as Mrs. Bowker. You can look forward to the children in September calling you all sorts of weird and wonderful variations. <laughs> Mrs. Bonker, <laughs> Mrs. Bocker, Booker, Baker, and the more continental version, Mrs. Bovka. John, uh, the very proud father of the bride, Hayley. They make a beautiful couple, don't they? Yeah. You're allowed to clap, Hayley. <laughs> Hayley, you've grown into a wonderful, lovely, bright young lady. I was incredibly proud to walk you down the aisle today, when even I got a bit emotional. Maybe because I love you to bits. Always have done, always will do. You can start crying if you want to. <laughs> As a father, you're naturally protective, but I know that Andrew's going to look after her and be protective, and I'll, I'll thank you for that, Andrew. For those who don't know me, my name is Mike, and I'm Andrew's dad. Fantastic that we've all finally made it here to celebrate Hayley and Andrew's wedding. Yay! How lovely do the bridesmaids look? Absolutely stunning. Amy, Emma and Amy, ladies, you have really graced the occasion. Thank you. And the groomsmen, Mitch, Luke, Ash and Jack, much less lovely than the girls, of course, but you do look very smart. When Andrew asked me to be his best man, I was, of course, honoured, but very nervous. However, I knew it would be a great opportunity to tell you all, very publicly, how happy we all are for Hayley and Andrew, and how much we love them both. Our family first met Hayley in April 2017. It was clear then that Andrew was smitten and we were delighted that he'd fallen for such a smashing person. We are sure that he'll prove to be a loving and caring husband. Considerate, selfless, modest. That's enough about me. Let's focus on Hayley, for goodness sake. She's so much more than those things. I'm so lucky to marry the love of my life. I know I'm very lucky, um, and I'm looking forward to our life together as Mr. and Mrs. Bowker. <laughs>